I've got here Chanel's latest super exciting luxury makeup release. This is the 31 Le Rouge Collection Coffret Set. If you want to hear more about the most expensive lipstick I have ever, ever heard of, just keep watching. Hi my lovely people, welcome to today's fabulous beauty review. Right here I have Chanel's latest makeup release. This is 31 Le Rouge Collection. So I obviously unboxed this already on Instagram, go check it out. Now this is the actual coffret in here. It's wooden and it's absolutely gorgeous. But before I get started with this, I want to tell you a little bit about the inspiration for this collection, if you will. It's a lipstick collection, essentially, um, full lipsticks and then refills. The lipsticks are refillable, so you can buy the refills individually. And of course, you can get the coffret set right here, which includes one full lipstick and two refills and a leather case. The inspiration for this entire collection is, of course, Chanel's birthplace, where all Chanel creations started, which is the first Chanel store and the place Chanel, Coco Chanel, used to live. She used to have an apartment above the very first Chanel store on 31 Rue Cambon. So this is what the inspiration for this entire collection is. So I got the entire coffret set, which includes a full-size lipstick and two refills and a leather case. And I got another full-size lipstick, another refill and a leather case on the side and my wonderful essay uh, at the Chanel boutique here where I live threw in an extra leather case just for me. So let me show you all the items. Let me open the coffret set. Um, this is of course the coffret set. Like I said, I got the entire full coffret set, which includes one full size lipstick and two refills and a, and a case, a leather case of your choice. And the lipstick bullet has three choices too. I will get to that here in, here in a second. So I got the entire coffret set and then I ordered another full size lipstick and another refill. So I actually have two full lipsticks and three refills. Let me show you. So I'm gonna open this tissue paper and get this out. This is the gorgeous coffret box. Wait till I show you guys. So let me get it out. So it comes in this little dust bag. When you take the dust bag off, you get this beautiful coffret box. This is actually wooden, an SMR moment. This is actually a wooden lacquered box, which is such a wonderful thing for a collector. This is a collector's item and in the back you see the hinges here. Um, let me open and close the box so you can hear it. So as you can see it's wooden. So here is the interior of the box. It actually comes with this Chanel, it says Chanel on it. It's a cloth. There's the mirror and these are the slots for the, the full-size lipstick here, the case, and the two refills, as you can see. And guys, if you want to, after receiving this, you can take this out. This is actually cardboard. And you can use this box to store jewelry, Chanel, your Chanel earrings, jewelry, whatever you have you or any other Chanel trinket or anything else in this box. So you can use it as a, it's a very, um, what do you call, functional piece that you can use. So the, the coffret comes separately from the, all the components, all the items. These are of course samples. My essay threw in a ton of 
samples for me, another sample box. And then of course, here are the leather cases. I can tell by the weight. Let me open the actual lipstick itself first. Here comes the sleeve off. And there it is. It opens like this and there's that gorgeous mirrored bullet. This gorgeous mirrored bullet, which is inspired by the gorgeous mirrored uh, stairway in 31 Rue Cambon. So that's the inspiration behind this gorgeous component. Of course, it's magnetic, as you can see. And this shade here, I believe is number five, Rouge Premiere, from what I remember. I will get more into the texture of this, the finish of this, and everything here very soon. But for me, for now, I'm just going to show you this. I'm gonna put this aside for a second. I'm gonna put it right here in the coffret where it goes. So here is the little slot for the lipstick. Now I'm going to get the leather cases out. So here's one of the cases. She actually, I wanted the silver case. So the case comes in three different materials. This is pure leather. This is the silver case. So let me get this insert out. It is a magnetic closure, which is really nice. So I got silver because silver complements the mirrored bullet the most. So there it is. I'm going to put that right in this slot. And then I'll show you the, the refills. So here are the two refills. So I got the shade number five, which is Rouge Premiere. And then I got one of the loveliest shades in the collection and the only nude shade in the collection. This is number one, Rouge Beige. So let me show you this one. This one has a very lovely, almost pearlescent finish, which is unique to this uh, shade, if I'm not mistaken. So this is what the refill looks like. So you can take it off and you can't take it up or push it up without putting it into the bullet. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the lipstick refill. They're very easy to change, by the way. So you just put the closed end into this and you it locks right in place. It's like magne magnetic. This is also magnetic, watch this, okay? So that's all you have to do. And until you put it in the bullet, it doesn't come out. Okay, so this is number one, huge beige. This is so beautiful. Let me show you why it's beautiful. The camera doesn't do justice to it trust me by the way this is so weighted this feels like this is real glass you guys they say that if this falls it doesn't break because this is really hard tempered uh, glass it's very sturdy glass but this is nonetheless glass like cinderella's glass slipper just keep that in mind you don't want to just be throwing it against anything okay so that's number one rouge beige and then let me show you the other lipstick shade that i got and this one is number eight rouge fetish so this is one of the loveliest shades too in the collection there again i can't see the shade until i put it into my bullet so i'm going to pull this out and then this goes right in it and i will show you rouge fetish so this is that color. This is a kind of a strawberry red. It's absolutely stunning on the lips. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to now put all of them in the coffret and show you what they look like. So here it is. I went ahead and kind of wiped it down a little bit. So that's what the coffret looks like. And you guys, by the way, after you can either display it like this or you can take this out afterwards and you can use this as a storage or to display anything else that fancy you. This is obviously a collector's item and this entire collection, this coffret set or, or the individual lipsticks, these are really for Chanel collectors. People who want to own this 
collection because of the significance of it, the inspiration of it, and the beautiful finish of these lipsticks and what went into it. So now for my second full-size lipstick. This I got in the shade 12 Rouge 255 or 2.55, you guys. This is the case. Um, let me get it out. This one, I tell you why I wanted this one in particular. There's that bullet. So this is what the 255 looks like. This is described as a garnet red. I will put all of these lipsticks on my lips, all the shades on my lips, and I will show you guys what they look like here in a second. Just wanted to show you what I have. So here is the third and last refill, fifth shade that I have. So two full lipsticks and three refills as I told you so let me put this shade in here take this one out this shade you guys is number nine I think number nine Pooj Talor so let me show you that there it is this is a strawberry red um, I will show you guys all of them swatched on my lips um, and my hands very soon here so let me tell you a little bit about what these lipsticks are and why they're so expensive why they're so special so on chanel's website it says the most singular lipstick from the house inspired by an iconic address which is 31 who Cambon, the birthplace of Chanel creation. So there are 12 shades inspired by Gabrielle Chanel's creations, the ateliers and the iconic address, of course, Rue Cambon. They are finely micronized pigments combined with sheer mother of pearl to deliver intense and purely radiant color and supposed to be intense, luminous, long wearing shades. And they've put gardenia, pure gardenia oil in these lipsticks and they're supposed to be, I believe, diamond powder, if I'm not mistaken, in these lipsticks, if that means anything to you. These lipsticks are supposed to be not just makeup, but also skincare. I mean, supposed to be very nourishing and good for your lips that over time you should see an improvement on your lips texture overall appearance according to Chanel well that's yet to be seen very delicately scented and it they glide so well this is a proprietary formula by Chanel formulated specifically in their labs it's not available anywhere else but Chanel after one month of use the lips should appear 70% more moisturized 44% more smooth and 55% more smooth and 14% more defined. This is what Chanel claims on the website. I forgot to mention not only does it have gardenia oil but also maracuja oil. You can actually order these lipsticks individually. They are $195 each. Yes. Or you can buy the Cofret set which includes of course the one full lipstick. Like I said you can order the individual lipsticks which are $195 and you can then order the refills too, they're $80 each um, and I, I would say the Cofret set is a better uh, deal and the Cofret set is of course $405. Now we're finally at the most exciting part of this uh, video so I'm going to try them on for you. Now I'm going to, I actually have a full face of Chanel makeup today from foundation to mascara to eyeshadow, everything. Even the balm I was wearing was Chanel. So here is the Chanel lip liner uh, in the shade 182. I'm going to, this is kind of a um, tan, kind of brownish, dark beige kind of lip liner. Let me put that on. So now I'm going to try the number one, which is Rouge Beige. It is a pearly beige evoking Chanel evening gowns, a daytime color that lights up the night. So you can wear it day and night. So this, all of these lipsticks have a pearl-ish sheen, but it shows the most in this shade when you put it on. It's very subtle, but you can see. So let me put it on for you.
mm, it glides so easily and yes I can feel that sort of nourishing formula and the pearlescent finish is ever so subtle but it really does show let me pull you guys a little closer you can see the shade so here it is this is number one rouge beige This shade is very beautiful, you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now let me try the next shade. I'm going to wipe this off. So since my next two shades are red, I'm going to use Chanel Lip Liner in the shade 174. By the way, Chanel Lip Liner formula is one of my favorites. Um, it's absolutely perfect glide on but not too soft that it breaks you know how Lisa Ed Eldridge ones are good but they break but then Mac ones are too rough they're like stones you know but this is just perfect so I'm going to try next my most exciting shade I actually love this um, rouge beige too but I really want to try this number eight so this is Rouge Fetiche, red, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me swatch it a little bit on my hand here, but it's probably not going to do justice on a hand sw swatch like this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's a very um, beautiful, like holiday red. It's absolutely stunning. Let me bring you a little closer. So this is... So this is number eight, Rouge Fetiche, which is described as a crisp crimson, like the, the color of the ribbons Mademoiselle used during shows for good luck. So that's the inspiration for that shade. Now I'm going to try number five, Rouge Premier. So let me put that one on for you right now. So this is what it looks like. This is more of a true red not a raspberry red so hand swatches will not really show the right color really you have to see it on the lips so i'm going to go ahead and put it on my lips and put the same lip liner on i think it works with both shades do you see how nicely these lip liners glide on and they don't break even though they glide on Oh, that's gorgeous too you guys wow I don't know if you can see there's a, a slight sheen a uh, very radiant slight shine with a slight sheen I don't know how to explain it you can tell there's that diamond powder there's that pearlescent sheen but it doesn't come off as a shiny speckled shine it doesn't come off as a shiny speckled glitter type shine it comes off as this beautiful like healthy plumped lip kind of look so here it is
So this shade, number five, Rouge Premier, is described as a vermilion red, um, inspired by the first thing Mademoiselle's seamstress did every morning, which is put on her red lipstick. So that's what, it, what this is inspired by. This just looks absolutely sultry and sexy, you guys. I don't know how Chanel does it. It's just a lipstick, red lipstick or nude lipstick, whatever. And I've used all different types of lipstick finishes, you know, lipsticks that are chrome-like finish, uh, lipsticks that are metallic, lipsticks that are shiny, ones with glitter specks, all different types of shine, right? It could from very subtle to very obvious. And I've never come across such beautiful finish, honestly. So I can see the work, the formula, the artistry that went into creating these lipsticks. I mean, there is something to it. Now I'm going to put on Rouge Talor. This is number nine of the collection. This is described as a vibrant raspberry red, like that of the braided brim of Chanel jackets, which lends structure to a look. Let me open and show you. So this is what it looks like. So let me do a hand swatch for you of Rouge Talor. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful raspberry red, almost kind of pinkish under hue. Let me put the lip liner back on. Ooh. This one is a darker one than number eight, but along the same lines of that almost raspberry kind of red. This one is a little bit more pinky, I would say, pink leaning, raspberry leaning red, whereas number eight is a little brighter. Absolutely beautiful. So let me bring you guys closer. Here's Rouge Talor. Now for the last lipstick shade, this is the last shade, number 12 in the collection. This is described as a deep garnet red that recalls the lining of iconic Chanel handbags. The 255 handbag, the, the burgundy lining, kind of like that garnet red lining. That's what this is inspired by. Let me show you the shade. So this is the darkest, darkest shade in the collection. So let me swatch it for you. You guys, you can never really do justice to anything on camera. This looks really dark in the bullet, but it actually comes off a beautiful garnet red when you apply. So let me take this off and apply it for you. I'm gonna renew my lip liner a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to put this one on. Ooh, ooh, very exotic, ooh, ooh. I'm so glad. I decided to buy this shade last minute, you guys. Mmm, that's a beautiful garnet red. It looks really dark in the bullet, as you can tell, but it goes on so pretty, like a very, like it looks actually really like almost ox blood in the bullet or even like darker, almost like, I don't know, like really dark, but it goes on the lips, such a beautiful garnet red. Let me bring you guys a little closer. So here it is. Yes, this, the price may seem ridiculous. Um, to It depends on who you are speaking to, right? To a Chanel collector, this would be a gem. 
Even for a regular Chanel enthusiast, this is a gem. Yes, it's a little bit out of what you would buy every day. I'm not going to say that it justifies the price. But there again, I told you, it depends on what your needs are, what you want. If you want something one of a kind piece, you know, that you can essentially, even after you're done using the lipstick, that you can keep this coffret set forever and put it on display. If that's what you want and you want a lipstick that has a finish like no other, that feels so nourishing and so much like lip care and at the same time deliver such sultry, full-lipped look, you would consider that worth it, which is what I consider it. Yes, the price may not be justifiable to many, but to many it is. It all depends on the individual and your needs and what you want out of Chanel products. It's very special. There is this indescribable, subtle, pearlescent kind of sheen to them. It's not very obvious in the rouge, like true red shades of this collection, uh, which 11 shades are red in this collection, different variations of red. Um, there's only one kind of nudish lipstick. Well, there are a couple that lean a little more to brown, I would say, but they still count as red. So in the darker shades, the pearlescent sheen isn't so obvious, but in the uh, number one rouge beige, which is the only nude lipstick, it shows pretty beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I, for one, am in love with this collection. Honestly, I want them all, but of course I'm not going to get in. Um, but this is a collector's piece for me. I will cherish forever. Even after the lipsticks are gone, I will be putting this on display on my vanity and be loving it for a long time to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 30% of all of you watching have not subscribed yet, which I'm actually glad uh, that 70% of you have, but the 30% of you, please go ahead and subscribe if you're watching my videos and you're enjoying them. Why not subscribe, help me out, grow my community. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Please let me know your thoughts on this collection. Are you planning to buy them? Hurry up and do it because this is a limited edition collection. Once it's, it, it's gone, it's gone, just like anything else Chanel does. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. <laughs>